brand new from Fury Tech. This is the new Komodo Unity 10, 2300 KV 4S. Oh yeah, 4S, buddy. This thing right here is going to be awesome. I'm really hoping. I'm hoping, man, because this right here fits into a VFD transmission with the stubby kit. Yeah, this is the micro Tesla. You kind of plug it in and all that. This right here can you can do all your tuning for the motor, ESC, everything right through this, or also the Fury Car app. So you can do all of that. I'm gonna mount this into a Deluxe Fab OD3 transmission. Um, I've got a 15-2 pinion gear for it, so this should be really awesome, man. Uh, this right here, this is something that's been been asked for for a long time, and Furitech made it happen. So, yeah, I'm gonna get both these powered up, show you guys a few things, and take it for a drive in a Carbon X. Let's get busy. Check that out right there, guys. This little wheel right here at the top. You can scroll through this stuff. Running mode. Exit. Running. Throttle. Exit again. We'll try throttle real quick. You're going to go through all these settings right here. So you can do all this. Granted, you're going to need a set of glasses. This is certainly a <laughs> small piece here. This right here is where I would end up leaving it, right here. Honestly, just something and set it where it's up into the windshield so you can just look down and see that. Uh, but yeah, you can do all your tuning right here. You're just gonna need some glasses, probably. Okay, so 2300 4S. It does have a 15 tooth pinion gear. Typically I run a 16 in here, but for a 17, I didn't find one of those. So I got a 15. Let's give it the, let's give it the beans. Okay. Let's, uh, let's do some crawling here. Cause I really want to see the startup into the drive and let's go. Now, I gotta be honest with you, I really got my hopes up for this thing. I really do. I really do. That felt pretty good. Now, uh, you can turn the punch up, but when you turn the punch up, then you get a big jump from startup into drive, at, at least from my experience with these. Oh, just messed up. Trying to get that front to get over, make the touch there. Oh, sorry about that. All right, so the crawl feels pretty darn good. Certainly got some crawl here. Now keep in mind this uh, OD3 is also geared uh, for like straight axle, so it's definitely got some low gearing on it. Man, the control feels really nice. Now also, with this thing being uh, ooh, this thing being 4S now, I can actually run this Reese 1400 on 4S. Because I've been running 3S, you know, with the fusion and all that. But man, this right here, I mean, I, this is going to be awesome. And you'll probably see me building more with this motor. I can already tell you right now because I do like the 1400 servos, 4S. This right here. Now, obviously tunable from the Tesla. Um, I just did the tuning because it was honestly easier on the phone using the app. So with that in mind, now this right here, uh, I, did, I did set some uh, Expo on the, on the reverse so it wouldn't be quite as jumpy in the reverse, but you can set that in your throttle curb and all that if you want. All that, uh, I guess I gotta dig into a test a little bit more. I think you can do it there. But I just did it all in the Fury Car app. 
and the uh, throttle control is certainly more crisp i can tell you that definitely more crisp than the fusion this is man this right here with this right here fitting in the vrd the uh vfd transmission and all that with the kit the behind the axle stubby kit thing that is awesome yeah definitely got some good punch here man nice pop right there foc is pretty nice i will tell you this after driving a fusion so many vehicles this is kind of something that's going to take a little bit of a driver adjustment because it is not a fusion it just feels like it's so much it just feels more crisp if that makes any sense you know it just feels more crisp to me nice right there man dude this thing is instant on the stop drag brake is instant and i'm only running like 15 on the drag brake part of this so there is not a whole lot here on the drag brake and it is not going to stick that straight up there is it control feels pretty darn good now i must say stability is there oh it was so close I like the crispiness. I do like that. I want to get this line right here, though. I can get that front uh, hook onto this thing. It is not wanting to hook onto that, is it? Guess I have to take that. Definitely a whole different feel. See, like when I'm doing this right here and it's kind of jumping a little bit, that's me. I, I just got to, I've got to tune my trigger into this. I like it. All right. I guess I'm going to give it one last run through here. There is raindrops on the way. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but there is raindrops keep falling on my head. Coming off the drag brake is nice. Everything moist around here now. Dude, for it being moist, these tires are pulling really good up the ramp. Again, there's your drag brake. A little bit of slippage on the tires. Let's come off a of drag brake. Nice. Oh no! Try it again. Come on, buddy, you can get this. Come on, come on. There we go. Got it. That is awesome. Hey, the rain just passed. All right. I'm going to leave this in here. Uh, this will be a conscious decision to leave this in here. Oh, no, I, I was wrong. The rain has not passed. Here it comes. I got to go. Oh, no. Uh, here it comes. Oh no, I thought it was over. It's not. No kidding, this thing was impressive. Uh, the drag brake, the hold, it was literally set at like 15. That was it. You can go way higher than that, but you start getting a warning as far as temperature and all that goes. The more you make that hold, uh, the higher the temperatures, all that stuff like that. But um, 
15 is about where it was at for me. Uh, I think it may have been 14, honestly, when it started really holding well. But, uh, dude, the system, it drives really good. Um, I don't know that I felt it change from the sign start into the drive. Uh, the sign start is when it starts and it kind of works it like a slow stepper motor. And then it gets into like a, I forget the proper term for it, like a, a sequential style drive. And when it and when it's too much, you can get into a cog. And if you happen to be right on that edge where the ESC is switching back and forth, that can cause problems. I did not notice that with this. Now, if it was geared faster to have a lot more wheel speed, which I'm not sure why you would want more wheel speed with this system in a competition setting, heck, you could possibly gear it down even more, you know, for really, really technical crawling. But uh, if you gear it up, then you're going to lose a little bit of that low end resolution due through the gears and reduction. You may, you may experience a little bit of that because I do feel it's still there. It's just really masked really well. Um, but um, I'm going to be using this in more trucks. That I guarantee you because the 4S on it is awesome. The fact that it fits into a, a VFD transmission with the stubby kit, even better. So, but being able to run true 4S throughout the system is a big deal because I can properly power the 1400 servo by Reese. That's a big deal. I was also on the Reese Sabre tires today as well. So that's doing good. I'm probably gonna run this exact system this weekend in a comp. Uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun with this thing. Uh, this system is good. Um, I don't have any complaints. Temperature wise, I wanna say it was around 120. So, I mean, it didn't feel like it got hot. So, I mean, man, I, I, I got enough room in this right here to put the servo behind the axle if I wanted to. I mean, this is, this is a really nice system and it's the first in the world. So congratulations, Furitech. You really changing the game. Uh, you really are. So anyway, Guys, I absolutely approve of this. And not only is this system gonna stay in this truck, I'm gonna get more and they're gonna go in other trucks and other builds. Uh, maybe when I take this chassis and I build my sporty out of it, more than likely I'm gonna use one of these in there as well. So guys, check that description. I will link that up down below. Hopefully you guys got to see what you needed to see and uh, you all have a great day. If you're still watching, you are top shelf. You are the cream of the crop, the pick of the litter. You are phenomenal. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. It means a lot to me. Now, down below, there are links for the products you see. Also for channel memberships, if you guys wanna be a part. Channel members get early viewing on pretty much everything that I can. So guys, check that description. There's a lot of info down there. Thank you all for watching.